Well, the West Bend couple recently lost their teenage son to bone cancer. In their grief, they are helping the Mac Fund fight childhood cancer. Shannon Sims reports. Pictures of Jose Rivera III, or little Jose, show a healthy, smiling young man. He played basketball, football, volleyball, softball, baseball. Named the sport, and little Jose loved playing it. So when he began having leg pains, his parents knew something wasn't right. As time went on, I mean, he'd be crying just because he couldn't even walk on it. Doctors first thought he had a disease that caused knee pain. His mom requested an MRI, and nobody expected what they saw. And when I heard cancer, I was just like, can't be my baby. The next few months were filled with high fevers, trips to and from the hospital, and chemotherapy treatments his body sometimes rejected. Though through it all, he had an incredible support system. When Jose got diagnosed, the way that his family and his friends and their parents, the community and the schools came together for him, it was unbelievable. To raise money for his medical expenses, they sold Team Jose bracelets and suckers, held basketball tournaments, and went on bike rides. It meant a lot to Jose and his family, but soon his young body lost its battle with cancer. When his breathing started to get hard, they gave him some medicine to help him sleep, and he pulled his mask off, and the only thing he said, he said, uh, Mom, I love you. And he gave her a kiss, and he wrote her a note, and he wrote, I love you, and they put his mask on him, and that was it. Little Jose died July 15th, five months and 12 days after learning he had cancer. Since his death, his mom and dad have struggled to find a new normal. It sucks. I fake my way through every day. I fight to get up, I fight to put on this mask, and I try to go about my day. But as they try to heal, they take comfort in Jose's message at his eighth grade graduation. And by the way, one thing from this it's live every day to the fullest. And don't take anything for granted. Shannon Sims, today's TMJ4. Mm. Over the course of his treatment, Jose used 28 units of blood. The community is now holding a blood drive in his honor. That will take place December 22nd at Slinger High School. If you'd like more information, visit the Team Jose Facebook page. We have a link at tmj4.com links.